Hello, my name is Paul Klein, and I'm on the risk management team here at M3. The M3 team is committed to helping you and your team manage, monitor, and respond to COVID-19 exposure in your workplace. M3's new health tracker app, it's a mobile-friendly, easy-to-use tool that enables your employees to document they are healthy, symptom-free, and ready to be in the workplace. So in less than one minute each day, your employees will be able to reply to a series of CDC recommended questions that help identify symptoms and facilitate conversations if necessary. You or someone from your HR or management team will have access to the data, including time-stamped documentation and flagged responses. This app is free for M3 clients and is designed to help during the COVID-19 pandemic. So now I'm just gonna provide a brief demonstration of the application and its functionality. This page that you see here is the employee's user page that they're going to see when they access the portal. First and foremost, the website is m3ins.shinyapps.io backslash m3 underscore health underscore tracker backslash, okay? So as you see up here, that is the website. Now, as we go through the tracker itself, you're gonna be assigned a company ID, Paul's Lawn Care in this case, since I'm a lawn care nut, and you're gonna be assigned a unique company passcode. Immediately following, there's gonna be this brief disclosure that pops up, and it's a, just explaining the intent of the tracker and what it's supposed to be used for, as well as what it's not supposed to be used for. Now we'll just go through and input the employee name. Call it John Doe in this case. And now we go right into the questionnaire itself. All right, so the first one, we're gonna uh, go through it as, as if we we're healthy, not having any symptoms, all right? So my temperature is 98.6. The other piece to note is if you're not using temperature screening as part of your protocol, then there's a checkbox here as well so that you can mark that and that will show up later on on the backside that uh, the administrators able to review. All right, do I have any cough, chest congestion, or shortness of breath? No. Sore throat, experienced loss of taste? No. Runny nose, nasal congestion, recently experienced loss of smell? No. Have I experienced fatigue, headache, or body aches? Nope. Experienced diarrhea or vomiting? Nope. Had a fever and taken any fever or symptom reducing medications or chills, sweating, flushed or hot skin? No. In the past 14 days, did you care for or have close contact with someone diagnosed with COVID-19? No. Okay, so in this case, you essentially passed the test. The submission has been received, you're, you're logged. That submission is then logged within the database along with a message to the individual that's gonna outline CDC best practices to reduce the spread of germs. So that, that's what this ending or finish submission note that you get as the employee completing that questionnaire. So let's run through it one more time as if we might have had a symptom or problematic scenario. Okay. All right, we'll just use the same name again. We'll say my temperature in this case is 101. Okay, and we can answer every other question, yes or no at this point. Runs through that, those scenarios again. And what you see here now is that once you've got a symptom or you've answered a question, yes, it's triggering to contact whomever you deem is gonna be the administrator or administrators of the program. You know, in other words, it's, it's the stop sign to alert the employee to contact management before coming to work. And what this is doing, is it's allowing each employer to make decisions on what steps employees should follow or adhere to based on your company policy or the symptoms reported. The, the really nice thing here is it's creating that flexibility for you as the employer to determine what's your appropriate for your business, excuse me, what is appropriate for your business needs while maintaining a proactive approach to limit the spread of the virus.
Okay, so now that we talked about the employee interface, let's touch on the administrator or the HR side of the portal. All right, so let me pull that up real quick here. Okay, so this is almost identical as far as the app or the web access itself, except you add underscore access backslash. It's gonna bring you to this authorization required page. Okay, pulling me up here, putting my email in, putting my unique password in. Okay, so this login and ID, okay, it is on, held on a secured portal. M3 does not have access to the username password information. I just wanna make sure that's clear. Okay, so now that you're logged in to the, the portal itself, here's what's gonna show up based on those responses. All right, you, you have a time stamp of the exact date and time, all right, when the questionnaire or the tracker was completed. You're also notified if there's any flagged responses in these tiles up here, all right, whether there was no temperature provided, which is that checkbox in the beginning of the application, or if there were any flag responses where either someone had a temperature above 100.4 and reported that, or answered yes to any of the other questions. This information can also be downloaded as well into an Excel sheet if the administrator or that manager chooses to retain the data. Otherwise, M3 purges it after 30 days. And here's a button right here for that download data. Excel sheet pops up right there. So that is essentially the application in its, of itself, a very simple to use, intuitive, easy to follow system, okay? And, and the tool is really designed or intended to be part of your comprehensive plan to manage your risk through the pandemic. Um, some of the benefits that we think about is one, it's eliminating that need for pen and paper if you were completing health screenings manually. It's gonna improve your efficiency as employees are starting their shift. And it's doing that by completing that web-based questionnaire prior to entering the workplace. You're also limiting close contact, maintaining social distancing. It's preventing that entering the building and punching in with no bottlenecks or congestion. And, and most importantly, reducing the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Getting you set up really quick and easy. Simply contact your M3 account executive or account manager and request the Health Tracker app for your business or organization. You'll then be sent an agreement form that will need to be completed and returned to M3. Once you've completed that, we can process and activate your account. We'll need to know the business name and have two contacts set up in our system. That'll include the individual's name, email, and phone number. And those will be the individuals who will have access to the data. Once your M3 team receives the above information, implementation should occur within 48 hours, excluding weekends. And lastly, and equally important, share the attached info sheet with your employees so they understand the expectations and guidelines for getting started and submitting their health status each day. Ensuring communication is very clear with employees on the purpose and necessity behind this ask is really what's essential for this to be so effective. Thank you.